This house is 500 million years old. Well, not the house, but the rock that it's made of. I'm in Chestnut Hill, Northwest Philadelphia in Pennsylvania, where everything is glittery and shiny. Let's find out why. Let's learn a little bit about the fascinating story of schist. I'm Luke, and this is Plymouthy. This beautiful rock is called a schist. Look how it sparkles and shines. It is a type of metamorphic rock. Now, there are three basic types of rock. Metamorphic, that's what this is. But there's also sedimentary and igneous rock. Igneous rock includes stuff like granite, basalt, and they come from magma or lava. Sedimentary rocks are pieces of broken rocks that have become uh, grains or clasts. It's a technical geological term, we'll talk about that another time. And they get turned into things like mudstone or sandstone. If you put a sedimentary or an igneous rock under extraordinary temperatures and pressures for a really long time, like millions of years, then you can get something as beautiful as this. Let's take a look at this. So this is called a schist. And you can see it looks like it's been like squeezed, kind of like toothpaste or something, like different kinds of toothpaste that have been squeezed together. And that's sort of what is going on, a kind of plastic deformation to create this amazing thing. Just look at this shiny rock. It's just absolutely beautiful. I think those are some garnets and the really shiny reflective stuff that's mica now because they're so beautiful metamorphic rocks like this are not going to show you any kind of fossils and that's because the original sedimentary structures that were there have been mostly obliterated by the high temperatures and pressures this schist in particular is called the Wissahickon schist. It's from the Wissahickon Formation, named after the Wissahickon Gorge that is located in Fairmount Park in the northwestern Philadelphia region. And all over suburbs of Philadelphia, you can see it being used as a decorative building stone because it's just beautiful. Look at it. Look at all this stuff. So what happened is about 500 million years ago, during the Cambrian period, sediments were eroded from mountains in essentially this area and they were deposited things like stream beds stuff like that flood you know sediments and what happened was then the taconic orogeny orogeny is the genesis of an oros greek word for mountain so the creation of mountains so this was smashed and pressed under unbelievable amounts of pressure just you know millions of tons of rock and very high temperatures to create this beautiful looking schist and the reason that it's so shiny is because it has one of my favorite minerals and it's a it's a type of mineral which is called mica and mica there are two really common ones you can find which are muscovite and biotite and you can see them in books it's a phyllosilicate so like a leaf silicate rock phyllosilicate and these amazing little books you can actually tear them apart these layers they're absolutely uh well they're actually a lot of fun if you have to do they're really cool the word mica comes from latin mica which means a crumb little piece of something and that comes into romanian as a meek which means small and to italian mica meaning hardly schist ultimately comes from the Greek word schizo, which means to divide up because, you know, you can see it has these layers and everything. And from the same origin, we have the English word schism. The Wissahickon schist is so common that you can find it, just pieces like this lying on the ground in the dirt, or even in this construction site here. And also because these lovely little flakes, especially these shiny flakes of, of mica, since they're pretty much everywhere, you can see shiny flakes and the concrete that's made out of material that's from the local area. It's just a, it's a beautiful reminder of the rocks that have been here for millions of years. Now, it's hard for me to think of an end to this video as brilliant as this rock. So in future videos, we'll learn more about the different kinds of metamorphic rocks and a lot more interesting facts and stories of geology. Thanks so much for watching. Valete. Let's learn a little bit about the... Let's learn a little... <laughs> Let's learn a... <laughs> okay. Let's learn a little bit about the... Let's... <laughs> Let's learn a little bit about the fascinating...
those look a lot like garnet crystals and a and all over subsur I'm in Chestnut Hill where everything is I just have to think about what I was going to say. <laughs>